Five tips. Transferring to planets. Number one, transfer window. Before you can head out to another planet, you need to wait for the planets to align when it will require the minimum amount of fuel to transfer from your location to your destination. You can use the transfer calculator at this URL to find when your transfer window is open. You want to align the sun and Kerbin with the bottom of your monitor and then time warp until your destination is in the appropriate position as shown on the transfer calculator website. Number two, planning the maneuver. When you've time warped to approximately your transfer window, plot a maneuver and plan to accelerate. When the dotted line bumps the orbit of your target, drag the maneuver node itself along your orbit until you see the indicators. Try to line them up or at least have them close together and then execute that maneuver. Number three, course corrections. When you've completed your maneuver, time warp until you're in a solar orbit. Along your trajectory, plan a maneuver and make fine adjustments. Keep an eye on the periapsis at your destination. Make as many corrections as you require to get a periapsis that you're happy with. Number four, encounter. Just like traveling to a moon, you need to slow down so that your destination's gravity can capture you. Use the purple, nominal, and anti-nominal indicators to change your inclination. Try to be orbiting, passing on the right when viewed from the top, to be in a prograde orbit. Performing your inclination changes at a great distance from the planetary body can provide you a fuel savings. Number five, transfer mods. A couple of mods that can help you with transferring to planets are Kerbal Alarm Clock and McJeb. Kerbal Alarm Clock will allow you to set a destination and then it will drop you out of time warp as soon as the transfer window is right. McJeb can do everything. It can fast forward time. It can even plot the maneuver and execute it for you taking all the work out of transferring between the planets. Thanks for watching. Join me next time for 5 Construction Tips.